Hi everyone, welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports in Air, Ontario. Today I'm in Listowel, Ontario for an outdoor show, a swap meet, a show, all things vintage. The best part of going to a sled show and swap meet is the surprise element. You're never sure what you're going to see until you'll get there. You'll see rare race sleds fully restored, you'll see complete sleds, you'll also see restoration products and parts. All the parts that you'll ever need to restore your classic sled are there. And then there's also the memorabilia. When it comes to exceptional show sleds, check out this Motoski collection. Have you ever seen a better selection of Motoski race sleds? From Leaf Springs to IFS, liquid cools and free airs, this is an incredible display. And if you're into sleds of the green factor, check out this collection. 440 and 650s, twin pluggers, free airs, this is an incredible collection for those who like the green sleds. Along with the rare race sleds, there's always the cool sleds, the ones you don't see very often. Check this out, a Northway Interceptor. That's right, a 440 Interceptor, made by Northway. That is one cool looking sled. Also in the rare and cool factor, check out this Dauphin, fully restored with matching helmet. You don't see that color every day, you don't see that sled every day. That is a cool find when you're walking through a swap meet and show. Also on the cool factor, check this out, a Viking Vigilante 340. Again, look at that cool color and look at the cool matching helmet. That's not something you see every day in your neighbor's garage. And sometimes when you're walking down a row of moto skis and scorpions, you'll see something truly unique. Yes, the Cyclone 340 is a rare sled. And look at the other ones around it, also really cool. But look in the background. Look at the Massey Fergusons, there's something special there too. Massey Ferguson had a thrill team, like so many manufacturers. Theirs was known as the Ski Whiz Red Knights. Every manufacturer in the early 70s wanted to put on a show, whether it was grass drags or snow racing or a thrill team. Everybody had to put on a big show and Massey Ferguson did it with the Red Knights. Interesting watching people walk through a show and what they spot. For instance, look at this Arctic Cat. Notice those pipes? They're often referred to as Montana pipes. They're very rare because they stuck out the front and they would get easily dented. A set of pipes like that, not only impressive, but they're also impressive to find in that condition. For people wanting to start on a restoration, here's a great find, a Citation with a 104 inch track. 200 bucks, you can't go wrong. A solid sled chassis, put a motor in it, a new seat, and you've got yourself your first build of a sled. One of the things I like to find at a show is not just great sleds, but great helmets to go along with it. Check out this Blizzard helmet that goes along with the blizzards of the late 70s. That is a cool find and a cool accessory. And speaking of helmets, what about the clothing? It's amazing how people will come up with clothing that's in pristine condition. And hey, for 30 or 40 or 50 bucks, that is a great find, especially if it matches a sled that you've got in your collection. Patches were a big part of the sport in the late 60s through the 70s. Everybody had their favorite brand patch, also their club patches on their suits as well. Every suit had to have a patch of some sort on it, and sometimes you find the coolest patches at these shows. When it comes to parts, people need everything, and you can also find everything at a show. Tracks, cleated, non-cleated, ones with studs, well, they're there too. Suspensions, skis, engines, one-of-a-kind gauges, carburetors, rotary valve parts. Everything can be found at a show. Not everything appears on the internet anymore. You go to a show or a swap meet and there's your starting point to get your restoration underway. And of course, a big part of any sled show or swap meet is the people. Oftentimes I'll go to these shows and I've known these people for over 30 years. Every time we go to a show, it's how are you doing? What are you working on? What did you sell? What did you buy? How is such and such doing? Where's their sleds? It's always a great social event. It's not just about the nuts and bolts when you go to a vintage show. It's also about the people you've known over the years. At outdoor shows like this, you can find everything from complete sleds to the parts you need like bogies and engines. So whatever you want to restore, check out your local swap meet, outdoor show and shine. You'll find what you're looking for. You just got to look. Thanks so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports. Remember to like, share and comment on our entire YouTube video series. Team Vincent Motorsports. Air Ontario.